Bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim. In English, it is important in language otherwise that uh, we give words to the child. Instead of that, we should give word knowledge and we should always in our interaction try to extend their knowledge about the word and make association with the word. For example, we tell them Sunday and they can imagine it is sun and day. But nobody tells them that Monday is moon and day. When you uh, tell a child that Monday comes from, actually it was a moon day, Monday. You will see a spark in their eyes. The schools often miss this fun out. But then the next question uh, comes to their mind. Uh, what about the next? Uh, the other days like Wednesday, Thursday, where do they come from? So rest of the days uh, somehow do not come from uh, the celestial objects. The rest of the days uh, they come from uh, a Roman mythology, some gods, the god of war. Wednesday, Warden is another god of war. Thursday, it's easy to remember, it's a god of thunder. Th and Friday, Venus Friar is another uh, Roman mythology. It's uh, one of the god. Just another example, for example, uh, in names of the months. It often comes in, in, in our minds and it also comes in the learners' children's minds when they read like pentagon, octagon, septagon in, in the geometry. So they know oct means eight, sept means seven, nono means nine, this means ten. But somehow there's a difference between uh, names of the months and these uh, uh, roots of the words. For example, October should, according to roots, should be the eighth month. November should be the nine months. December should be the ten months. But it's not like this. There is a difference of two. October instead of eight is tenth. November instead of nine is eleven. And December instead of tenth is twelve. So how come this difference? So that creates a fun uh, when you start discussing with the child. And these days, Google and etymologies are available and uh, you can easily see. I have just given a couple of examples that we can create fun and it, it creates a curiosity in the child again. So let's see where did this come from. Origin of this calendar are actually from the Romans and the Romans had armies. And you know the weather in the Europe. Uh, there is a very, very cold winter. So the armies used to take rest in the winter and at the end of, uh, you see, uh, uh, winter season, the armies used to march again. So when there was a change in the weather, a little bit of a thaw and the army used to march, that was the uh, uh, start of the new year. So they called it March. So March was actually uh, the beginning of the year. And next uh, uh, months were actually, for example, uh, July was Quintilis, the fifth month, starting from the March. And August, which we all caught, was Sextilis, the sixth month. And then September, October, November, December, still we continue in the same seventh month, eighth month. Uh, April, May, June, somehow they were again from the Roman mythology. Later, this Quintilus was changed to commemorate Julius Caesar. So July comes from Julius Caesar. And August, uh, it was actually Sextilus, the sixth month. It came from the Emperor Augustus. Now, this is the beginning when uh, Romans or uh, in that part of the world, human uh, have, had not discovered the full calendar, right? They started from the March and went like this. Later, when the calendar was actually defined initially, maybe by Julius Caesar, then they had to add, obviously, two more months in the beginning. So they were January and February. But the rest of the months were not changed. So their names were just used as such. So the January and February were the two months added afterwards. So that's how then this story will connect them to a bit of history, to a bit of words. And essentially the habit to uh, look deeper into the world, where has it come from and how was it used and uh, what context it can be used. So 
we are talking calendar so let's take another example from the calendar leap leap means jump like a, like a frog jump frog leaps right now you know where does it come from this is how it is if we take any date of a year say i have taken 1st may 2014 thursday same date the next year is friday but the same date the next year is not thursday friday saturday it's not saturday one day has jumped so saturday is missing it comes sunday so do you know the pattern every fourth year in the same date next year it is actually the next day falls but every fourth year there is a jump of a day one day is missing it skips so it leaps that's where the word leap come from so it's i thought it's interesting to share so this one lesson in it don't just teach words teach word knowledge so goodbye but do you know where does the word goodbye come from hmm the word is god be with you and goodbye is actually the short form of that okay god be with you see you next time